Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to come on here and continue my Live Your Life and Love It series. Now, I just want to talk about putting yourself first and um, keeping yourself at a standard that you want and that you believe you deserve. Um, now, I find it problematic when some people um, depend on others for their happiness. Uh, if you solely depend on others for your happiness, then you're giving others way too much responsibility over your life. Um, it's important for you to know what makes you happy and be willing and ready to do those things or uh, provide yourself with those things if they are material um, to make you happy. You shouldn't have to wait on someone to come into your life to give you your happiness. You know, it's important for you to know and uh, be willing to give yourself what you deserve. Now, when it comes to this thought, I actually uh, put it in comparison with, uh, you know, when you're like on an airplane and they're playing like an emergency video and so forth, and they have that point where they say, you know, to the parents, please place that oxygen mask on yourself before you place it on your child, you know? Um, and you know, the whole thought around that is just so, you know, if you have that oxygen mask on first, you have more time to be able to help your child in order to get that mask on, rather than if you're trying to fit the mask on this child, you know, who probably can't put the mask on themselves, uh, you're probably going to pass out in the process of trying to do so. And then what happens? You know, everyone, you know, goes. It's not going to be a good situation for both. You know, so uh, the importance of treating yourself exactly how you know you deserve to be treated, you know, you being that first person to show up for yourself is very necessary um, into leading a happy uh, and li a happy life, a happy life that you love, you know. And when you hold yourself to those standards of showing up for yourself, then you give others who you allow into your life, uh, you know, you, you don't give them a chance to treat you less, you know, because if you're already doing it for yourself and you're already, you know, showing up for yourself, then there's no way that you're going to allow them to come into your life and not show up for you, you know. Uh, so it's something that, you know, it works well and it just keeps giving back to you. Um, and you know it allows you to be happy when you're alone and happy when you're with others because if you know that at the end of the day you'll show up for you then that's a beautiful thing and it's a great thing and it's a great way to you know go on in your life and um, face life is to always be prepared to be there for yourself and to have your own back you know um, and to just uh, lead you into living your life and loving it. When you're able to like show up for yourself and be there for yourself, you actually give yourself more strength to show up for others and to help others. And helping others is a beautiful thing. And in order for you to help others, it's important for you to just be strong in yourself and be happy with yourself. <laughs> that was my live your life and love it tip for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please click the like button um, if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any comments related to this topic. Uh, and, you know, just get the conversation rolling. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> if you're wondering about my hair, uh, it is a U-part wig. And uh, I did put up a tutorial on how I uh, blended this uh, wig with my hair. So if you're interested in seeing that, then um, I'll put the link below. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, always remember to put yourself first and live your life and love it.